Happening tomorrow, the March of Babies kicks off in Portland and a local winery has joined the cause by introducing a new rosé. We always love a good wine for a good cause. The woman behind a fee wines is also a mom and has a pretty close personal connection to this event. So joining us live to tell us all about it this morning is owner and winemaker Jessica Mosaico. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me, Jenny and Emily. Yeah, so tell us about uh, why you wanted to get involved here in, in March of Dimes, March of Babies. Sure. So the name of our winery is A Fee, which means and daughter. And it's named that because my father and I co-founded the winery nearly 20 years ago. We made wine together until his, he passed away. And now I make wines inspired by my late father's legacy and my daughter's future. My daughter, Gabriella was born two months early in 2015, and we spent the first year of her life living in the Providence Portland NICU. Mm -hmm. And so it's really important to me that I give back personally, as well as through our business. So our new rosé, we are donating a portion of proceeds of full case sales to the March of Dimes March for Babies. Aww. Yeah, and a lot of people that, you know, aren't familiar with March of Dimes, they, they do help a lot of families um, like yours and, and people who have babies that are born premature, correct? That's exactly right. You know, there are nearly 500,000 babies that are born prematurely in this country still. And infant mortality, the leading cause is prematurity. So it's really important that research and community involvement supports these families and these precious children. I, I would imagine that has to be such a difficult position. I mean, for families who haven't found themselves in that spot, what was it like to, to have your child in the NICU and, and every day you're just hoping that things are gonna get better? Yeah, it's extremely scary and intimidating, um, but luckily we had phenomenal care at Providence Portland, um, and I feel really lucky that we did, but it's really important that we give back. So I think it's important to raise awareness and funds for prematurity, and there's a couple ways that you can do that. One is that the March for Babies is happening virtually tomorrow, so there's still time to get involved um, by going to March of Dimes, or you can purchase our rosé, and I'll be giving a portion of proceeds to the March of Dimes. And if you happen to be a Pinot fan, I also give a portion of sales of, the, um, of our uh, Gabriella Pinot Noir to the Providence Portland NICU. Oh, I love that. Aww. Those are both fantastic wines. And I love the pictures of your daughter and you yeah. in, in the vineyard. Uh, just such great pictures. You can tell she's just really thriving. Um, tell us a little bit about your rosé that you sent over. It, this sure. is a, a new release. It's a new release. Uh, we're releasing it next week and taking pre-orders now um, through our website, www.etfi. L L E W I N E S dot com. And it's a totally dry rose of Pinot Noir. And uh, I'm so happy to be able to do something productive with uh, proceeds from these sales. Yeah, it sounds lovely. It mm -hmm. is almost rosé season. So. It's always rosé season, in my opinion. <laughs> a good time to, to try out a new one and, of course, help a really, really great cause. Jessica, thanks so much for joining us. And, and best of luck tomorrow. Enjoy your virtual march. Thank you very much. Yeah, and of course, if you want to order the newly released 2020 Rosé, or if you want to register for March for Babies and help moms like Jessica, we have all the info you need on coin.com. Okay, just ahead, nature is calling again. Dexter appeared to get back to his 